here we go let's see if we can get this on camera at the right angle here uh, let's see here oh yeah there there she be guys we got the peter built this morning we're over here at the property across from the shop we're getting ready to pick up this uh yellow 850j you guys nicknamed the frankenstein dozer Are you guys not seen there's a pre couple well there's a few previous videos on this thing quite a few of them was here working on this uh pond project and uh one before that we actually had in the shop we put all new undercarriage under this thing it's got some military 850 uh jr track frames under it green ones you can see the green cylinders there so we used some uh very low hour military parts and stuck on this thing when we rebuild it so i'll have a link in the description below of the video of us uh actually doing the undercarriage work that if you guys want to see the machine working there's plenty of those uh pond videos homestead videos titled so go back and search those up so what we're going to do we're going to load this dude up and uh take it back over the shop a youtube uh, viewer customer has actually bought this so like the machine how it was running and everything we've not had a hiccup out of it. it's been a great machine so um we're actually going to take it over there get it all cleaned up we got to do some work on it for him so you guys can ride along and see what all we're getting ready to do to her Dude, up my cold start. No issues. Tucker's getting the last chain off there. So uh, Hunter's actually up here. He's going to drive it off. So Randy's backed up a little bit. He's got another 850J there to wash. We're going to take this one off. Um, probably have him wash it a little bit. And uh, we're actually going to take all the belly pans and stuff off. This whole tractor's going to get painted. The customer wants it painted yellow. We actually got to put the ripper on it. You guys see the ripper sitting way over there. If you watched the previous video of us working on it, I took the ripper off of it the reason being it's kind of soft over there and i didn't need the extra weight and stuff so sold the tractor guy wants a ripper he also wants limb risers and a screen kit on it those unfortunately aren't going to be in for several weeks so we're going to ship drop ship the limb risers and screens to him later um he can put those on himself so We'll go through, pull the belly pans off, have jack the cab up, have Randy wash it really good because we never did that before we took it over there. Make sure there's no leaks or nothing that popped up. Uh, we put about 30 hours on the tractor, so it's a good solid type tractor. It's had a lot of money spent on it before we got it to John Deere, so Hunter's going to get her unloaded and uh, park over out of the way and we'll get her cleaned up. Okay, guys. We're back, Clinton, CNC Equipment. Um, if you haven't liked my channel, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So today, we got the big 850. My boss is gonna kill me, but this is pretty funny. Anyways, let's get back to more important things today. Randy's done washing the 850. Say hi, Papa.
All right, I'm kind of worried. Kevin just grabbed my camera, getting a shot of this coming in the in the shop. I don't even know what he said either. It's all right. It's all right. I'll find out later when I'm editing. So Randy got a lot of the mud knocked off. You see when I unloaded, it was kind of muddy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna yank the uh, side screens off. I'm sure Kevin was just running his mouth and didn't say what we were doing, so. I didn't, I didn't say anything important, that's for <laughs> yeah. sure. We're gonna yank the side screens off. We're gonna pull the back plate off. We'll take the hitch back off because he is getting a ripper. We'll pull the belly pans off of it. Uh, that way it gets a super nice job. Everything gets cleaned out. We'll actually take the bolts out of the cab. When we take it back here, we'll tilt the cab up. So Randy can wash everything and all that good stuff. You know there's a log over here? You might have to pull that out. Who does that? Half a, half a pine tree over here, so we're gonna get started on all that good stuff. Somebody's got this thing full of dirt. I don't know who that would be. Backing up. I'm stuck on dirt. You going down? Yep, it's pooping on me. Can't be that bad. We had to outchange an oil. Well, that was Dave, maybe, wasn't it? Okay, hang on. All right, now. There she is, bud. I'm dropping my hand. She's some kind of ninja. Ninja skill. I saw that. You like that? Mm hmm. Like that? You make that? I made that. So there's a little hole up there in the center. When you're in mud, it actually will squeeze up those little those little whale turds, as Kevin calls them. All right, got them all off. We'll get the cab unbolted. Nothing going on major, but we just like to make everything clean. We try to do this with every tractor we sell. Um, hearing cleaned up so when the next customer gets it if he blows a line or something needs to work on something he's not dealing with all that mud and crap so we'll get the radiators all cleaned out real good and go from there hey. they asked me if i was drunk the other day at the auction they did yeah when i uh messed up writing that check oh i come in there making fun of all them girls and then once i screwed that up they all come right back at me <laughs> Ripped the vise off on that one. <laughs> you guys missed it this morning. I didn't have the camera going, but I ripped the vise off the back of our service truck. And I can get a permit to take guns with you everywhere you go. That's right. I'll get it from here. I bet you got it. 
All right, we'll go to the other side. Get some Mark King sleeping up on this thing. All right, we'll get that one last bolt out. Then we got a freaking log over here we need to pull out. I think I'm gonna tighten the tracks up a little bit too. If you guys watched the previous video, we put new tracks and stuff on that. So they've uh, broke in a little bit now, wore in. So we got a little bit more sagging like to see. We'll tighten both sides up here. And then we'll pull her outside, rip the log out of there. What's the big impact? Hopefully we don't need to wreck it all. Oh, lots of red grease too. Good thing we got. You guys see that going up a little bit? If you didn't see the previous video of putting undercarriage on, you definitely want to check it out. We had to get the wrecking ball out. Good. Do the other side. Get her. I got your grease gun there, bud. I like about an inch and a half of sag in the track. That one's probably got what a couple inches, Kevin. A little bit too much. As you can see, it's going up. Me up, oh, did you run out of grease? Yeah, I got a grease tube over there. I'm not stupid. Oh, I know I got a, Oh, here we go. Got you one here somewhere. Oh, Todd oh, dropped it. Job. I was trying to do some juggling. So grease gets pretty thin when it's 95 degrees out, you know what? I even smashed the end of it for you. Hey, thanks. We're ready to uh, back out and pull that log out next, aren't we? Can you tell? You take that back to the wash pad. It's unchained. Present for you. Alright, I got a mess to clean up. Hunter's gonna take that back to the wash pad and we will jack the uh, cab up. When we put these all back on, we'll tap out all those holes that was missing some bolts. We'll put new bolts and stuff under there. All the same size for the next owner. We'll get her get her back here and get the cab up.
nice and cold up there. Make sure, make sure that door shut good over there, Hunter. So we're gonna jack the cab up. Everything, there's nothing in the cab's gonna lay back, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. You wanna crank this up here? Got the handle in there, the valve's turned on. Ready to go the right way. If you guys don't know, these have a little cylinder. You can jack the cab up on these 850s and 750s. Makes it pretty nice to work on and clean and do all that good stuff. So. Boy, it's hot out here. Oh, yeah. What were you doing this morning? Football. Playing foosball? Yeah. What'd you do? Did you tackle anybody? Yeah. Made him cry. Did you hurt him? Made him cry. Kevin would be proud of you. I don't care what Kevin says, you're doing a real fine job. Oh, I know. All right, Hunter's got her jacked up the first stage. I've actually never had the cab jacked up on this one, but nice and clean, no leaks anywhere. Looking good, so Randy will clean all that up, wash the motor and get all that dirt out where the belly pans was make it all nice and neat for the next owner after he gets that done we'll pull her back in the shop we'll stick the ripper on it sitting way over there and uh and then kevin is gonna work his magic what are you doing over here bud i'm, I'm trying to get the race track ready <laughs> you guys not seen we got a little rc track going on so nice and dry and dusty kevin's gonna water her down for late night racing hey they had a bunch of light plants at the auction the other day I almost got one. We do. Maybe somebody's got one. They'll donate to us. You only need a one seater, though, right? That's right. All right. All right, Mr. Andy's done another fabulous job. No, just bring him in here. Tucker's got the belly pans. You guys remember just a little bit ago we took the belly pans off, but Andy's got everything looking nice and new in there, so. What we're going to do is uh, tap out all those old holes. Some of them didn't have bolts in them. Get some new bolts, put the belly pans back on it. So uh, everything's nice and new. We'll probably put some anti-seize in the holes too. So. Wrong size, bud. All right, we got all the belly pans on there. Tucker's got our ripper mounts. Honking the horn for safety. So we got all the bolts. We found all those other than one nut. We got them in. I seized up. Good job. We're going to get those mounts bolted on there. And then we'll get the ripper stuck on there. Going on this side over here, right side. You got your side shifter centered up. Get that centered up every time when you start a new job. So you see these two holes that gotta go up here. Everybody's watching you. Can you see him? that all right go down just a little bit come on in 
go up a little bit. Up a little bit. Whoa. All right, Kevin got her all tightened down with the big one inch Milwaukee impact. Randy's got the ripper looking fabulous here. I was looking at this thing. These cylinders, I believe, are actually leaking. Randy's cleaned it all off. You can see the outer dust seal is actually all rotten. Since we rebuilt every other cylinder in this dozer, these had a gob of grease and stuff on them like it was leaking. So, what do you think? Do you want to go ahead and mount the ripper to the tractor? The Right. Lower holes, and then we'll pull the cylinders apart. Mm -hmm. I doubt I got any packing kits to fit those, but if we do, we'll see what we got. If not, we may just take them to town and let them guys uh, source a kit. Probably be quicker that way. I'm thinking those hoses might need replaced too. Uh, it's the camo edition. While we're at it, we'll probably throw some new hoses on. Tucker, you ready to pick up 5,500 pounds of iron with 5,000 pound yeah. forklift? Hey, you're gonna have good power steering. I think we'll go ahead and get these lower mounts in here, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And then we'll uh, see about getting these cylinders out, so. Mm -hmm. Gotta go on up. Look at that. Not a problem. Your tire's still flat on the back. You got all kinds of weight on there. You're good. Bring her on in. I'm gonna flip these top rods back, Kevin. Hold up, Tucker. Got it. All right, all right, we got the ripper torn apart. We're gonna pull these rams out of these cylinders here and see what's going on, see if we got any seals. I seriously doubt I got anything to fit it. Um, this is actually aftermarket. It's a veil ripper. They make a lot of stuff for John Deere. We either try to source some from them or probably just take it to the local hydraulic shop and uh, we'll see what they got and go from there. So we're gonna get those rebuilt first and then maybe we can get her back together. Kevin's gonna unbolt her. These look like the easy ones to come apart. Mm -hmm. I should have hey, you dropped your nut. <laughs> nut down. Back up a little bit, Tucker. Go down a little. 
Go back down. Oh, we're getting up. Got her. Go ahead and pick her up. We'll take it to the vice. All right, our friend Tucker did find some new seals in town for us. Tucker and his favorite younger brother are digging tracks out on 850s and John Deere excavators right now up on the hill so they're probably not real happy with this so <laughs> stay tuned stay tuned yeah they'll be back in grumpy grumpy mode here in a little bit won't they <laughs> i'm gonna get some new seals in there you guys seen us do that before we'll get that tightened up and then we'll slide her back together got her new seals in her head gland kevin's gonna put the small harbor freight impact on it perfect what size socket we got on there today? Two and three quarter vintage? Two and three eighths. Two and three eighths, a little. That's a little. Hey, we probably should put it on the right way. Hey, why would you do that? I don't know. I'm, might, I'm, it might help, you know. <laughs> so it makes good TV. If we get this on video taken off, somebody's probably blasting us. If we, oh, yeah, well. You know, we can't hear him, so it don't matter. Yeah. At least we caught it. I don't even listen. Look, to there you go. Bam! Perfect. Nobody needs all those threads anyway. That's right. Extra. Take two. I'm gonna get it tired this time. Do it. There. All right, we're gonna go slam that in the ripper over there. I'll help you. I was just kidding. Once I get it loose here, I kick it with my foot. Oh, Hunter's just in time. Hunter. Hunter, you're not here. You got the whole thing, bud. Hunter, you're not here. Okay. I felt like we used a forklift to get this out. You ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hold down that barrel and I'll put the wiggle to her. All right, got both the cylinders rebuilt, got them back in there. I'm putting new hoses on there. I don't know if you guys was paying attention to those old hoses, but the outer coating was coming all off of them, other than a couple. This one's actually still good, but I'm kind of anal. I don't like uh, mismatched hoses. So while we're in here doing it right, we're gonna put all new hoses on here. I actually made two new hoses to go up here to the uh, tractor too itself. So we're gonna get those on here. And then hopefully, I get some help around her. Kevin went to go paint and the boys are up there digging the tracks out. They ought to be done here in a minute, but we'll fire it up. Probably suck these cylinders up a little bit, get some oil working in there, and try to get this ripper flipped up and get her hooked up and get this thing uh, moving on down the line.
All right, I got some helpers back. How was digging the tracks out? Wonderful. Did you have a great time, Tucker? Yeah, especially whenever it wasn't moss. Oh, you mean some sticky pond mud that dried the concrete? All right, Hunter's gonna hop up in a dozer, cycle these cylinders a couple times. Tucker's gonna come here at the forklift and do the twisty, twisty flipper back up. Hopefully we don't have no leaks here. Yeah, we'll get all the air. We'll probably put some more oil in it once we get it all together. So go ahead, owner. I like to cycle them and get all the oil in them so they don't jump. If you just try to go hook them up, they'll jump because they'll have air in them. So all right, go on out. them back in all right that's good flip this thing up we're looking good we're gonna get some new cotter pins from these keepers we got new hoses rebuilt cylinders probably take it back out to randy and have him we need a hammer tucker and you put the rest of the cotter pins in these keepers here hunter we'll take it out to randy let you him really uh to... you what you really want to be that long? oh yeah you can fold them back around you can, they're harder to bend. Yeah, we'll send her out to Randy, have him wash it, and uh, wash this back part again. We got oil everywhere. You know what we need to do, Hunter, is uh, 
check this hydraulic oil. I bet it needs some now. Again. Yeah, we're down on the ad line. We'll need some 1540. We'll get that all cleaned up. Then uh, Kevin's gonna work his magic. Just get this thing painted for the customer. And then uh, we got a set of limb risers coming in for it. We'll stick them on if they make it here. If not, uh, the customer can put them on later on. So. Hi, it's me. We're in my happy place and uh, we're gonna do a little painting today. Um, my boss told me I had a lot to do this week and next week, but I kind of forgot that one of the things I was supposed to do is not touch the camera. So I, I, I don't know. I, I just want to see how this works out. Maybe we could start something, you know, you and me, me and you, and maybe not so much Clinton, but he won't like that. He'll probably edit that part out. But anyways, you can see my Christmas lights. I don't know if Clinton's ever showed you, but I've got a pretty awesome trophy up here. Uh, if I can get you undone here. This is uh, one of the best trophies. Uh, it's a trifecta trophy. If you see, if you see up there at the very top, that is a uh, Master Painters Award that I was awarded for the longest run uh, in history. Uh, also, when we were doing some uh, Crown Vic racing, uh, I was the grand champion um, there. And also the uh, the base trophy is uh, American Idols for my vocals uh, when I'm at work. Uh, a lot of the guys love when I sing. They think that that's pretty awesome and that I have a gift. So uh, I just like to share it with them, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, I was gonna get you in on the yellow paint and I forgot because that's what I do because I'm a painter. Uh, but I wanted to show you something really good because I'm pretty proud of this. It probably goes, um, I'm probably gonna get at least another tier in my trophy for this one. Um, when I was painting my yellow, actually the power went out. And so it kind of threw me completely off. Uh, we went ahead and went to lunch, came back, still no power. And uh, long story short, I didn't realize how much was in the gun. And as I was finishing up my paint, I heard that sound that nobody likes to hear when they paint. And that's the sound of the bottom of the barrel getting sucked dry with your paint gun. And uh, usually that part of the paint is usually the, the thinnest. And, uh, you know, kind of like uh, guys with their carburetors when they adjust it with just a screwdriver. I just closed my eyes and envisioned that I had paint and did that one last swipe because all I needed was one more. I, it was late in the day and I didn't want to, I didn't want to mix another can and uh, I, I paid for it royally. So uh, I just wanted to show it to you because this is what, this is what a good painter will do for you. He's going to show you these things and I'm not a good painter, but I'm still going to show it to you anyways. So anyways, let's just take a gander at this. This beaut. This one's a beaut. Now, let me just preface this. Anytime you get excessive amounts of paint, like extra credit, I typically call those signatures. But this one here, this one here is uh, probably a signature, social security number, uh, date of birth, criminal background check. I mean, it's all of it in one. You'll see. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this on camera at the right angle here. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there, there she be. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Yep, that's where the name ends. That's, there's my social. Actually, I'm gonna cover up these digits here, uh, and then just keep going to my criminal background checks. Oh, it got bad real fast, and just keeps going. Anyways, and then I guess I I signed it right here too. So, as you can see, I I did a dandy. I'm proud of it you know sufficient coatings i'm sure the new owner will not appreciate all of my information on his tractor so i'll probably go ahead and fix that maybe i'll show you how i fix things like that because i seem to do that an awful lot uh, but anyways uh, i put you in there for charcoal but it really there's just a lot of parts scattered around so maybe we can take a look at it once it's fresh out of the booth so 
anyways, we'll come back. Stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, the charcoal is still fresh, still a little tacky, and uh, we got the yellow on her, and boy, she's looking pretty slick. We'll get her all put together tomorrow, but I wanted to show you something real quick. Uh, this is your tech tip of the day. Uh, the boy I had helping me did not think that that gap there in that door could possibly get any paint to come through that crack and come back down. And the reason why I like to get my plastic off as fast as possible is for that little ghosting. You see that there? I have some secret magic sauce in my hand. I will give that a wipe back and forth. And you will see before that paint cures, before I'm left with horrible results, I can recover quickly. So I can let anybody take and mask off with me it doesn't matter even you could come mask with me but anyways as you can see ciao it's all gone so i'll finish finding my other little smoked out spots i will double check everything make sure everything's looking good and we'll come back tomorrow take the rest of the paper off and plastic and we will start putting body panels on and get some decals on this dude So I realized that I ran out of battery in the middle of that boring long process. Just wanted to show you at the end, our run is gone. So if you're like me and you love to put runs and things, a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, you can make it look all right. So anyways, the old 850 is getting put together. We got a couple more bolts to put in, some side shields, some decals. Randy's gonna clean the inside up inside now and, and this baby's gonna be done so looking like this is gonna be about a wrap for it that's 
behind door number one. It's your brand new bulldozer. All right, Kevin did another wonderful stand-up job. Hope you enjoyed uh, him taking over the camera there. We got to get him uh, lined up on the uh, landscape uh, versus portrait modes there on the camera, but we'll get that all straightened up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And uh, if you're not done so, definitely subscribe. So this is it for the Franken-Dozer. It's uh, definitely turned out nice. And if you're not seeing